Yo, 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 what's going on at the fight world? This your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on arguably the greatest fight of all time and two future Hall of Fames in this fight game. We have Terrence T-Boy Crawford, a three-division world champion, a former undisputed world champion, a current WO welterweight world champion. Then we have Floyd Money Mayweather, arguably the greatest fight of all time, the five-division world champion, the undefeated billion-dollar man who helped revolutionize the boxing game for these younger fighters. And then we have Earl the True Spence Jr., the king of the welterweight division, the WBC, the IBF, and the super WBA unified world champ. And we all know that EJ is about to take on turns, Crawford, ladies and gentlemen, July 29th, the fight that we all been waiting on and things of that nature. But now we know that shit is getting real serious and everybody is picking their sides on who they got winning this fight. Even Earl Spencer turns Crawford telling you to pick your side and stay on it because this one here is different. Now, we all know that Floyd Money Mayweather, right? I'm letting y'all know now, Floyd is riding with Turns Bud Crawford in this fight. And he's going to get Turns Bud Crawford tips and pointers. And one of those tips and pointers is going to be to try to set a mold in Earl Spencer's account to try to figure out what Earl Spencer's doing. Um, you know, with Derrick James and things of that nature. And um, EJ want to have his, his antennas up and understand that find a mole, make sure y'all kick his ass, and then kick his ass out the gym. You understand? Find a mole, kick his ass, and then kick his ass out the gym. A la Alex Ryan Garcia in the Javante Tank Davis situation. Now, this is one of Floyd Mayweather um, chess moves that he always liked to play, you know, to figure out what his opponent's doing. He set modes in the camps. You know what I mean? And it's chestnut checkers. And, you know, when you can make these type of moves, it just shows you the order of war. You feel me? It's the order of war to where you got to do whatever you got to do to get the W as long as you ain't taking steroids and cheating motherfuckers in the ring, right? But, you know, it's the order of war, man, to where you, if you can get that pull and you can, look, send you a, a sparring partner over there or have somebody in the camp that you can bribe and pay off, you feel me? Um, we see it happening multiple times in the in the fight game. You feel me? Like Floyd May, I don't know if Floyd Mayweather was the one that 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 um, told Tank to put a, a mole in, in in Ryan Camp. You feel me? But I'm quite sure it probably was Floyd that did that. Let's just keep it real. And you know, Turns Bud Crawford will be looking for an edge. You understand? I know a lot of people might be like, man, Money Brown, man, you reach it, man. Bud don't need nobody in Earl Camp to tell him this and tell him that, man. He don't got to put no more there, man. You know, him and Bo Mac, they will get the job done regardless, man. This, that, and that, and this. Listen, I'm telling you. I'm telling you how the order world work in the sport of boxing. The order world works like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you can pull that off and you can put your, a mold in there to see what they doing, how the sparring going, if he running these miles, did he train yesterday? It's the weight up. You know what I'm saying? You you do a lot of things to, 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 you know, see what your opponent is doing and where he's at and how serious he's taking it, which I know that both of these guys are taking this shit very, very serious because this is it. You understand? This is that one. In every era, you have a fight that's that one. You understand what I'm saying? And this fight is that one. Earl the True Spence Jr. versus Terrence T. Bud Crawford is that one. And you want that W, you understand? You want that W, straight up. Everybody know that um, whoever win this fight, it's the number one pound for pound fight in the world. You understand? Whoever win this fight is the number one pound for pound fighter in the world, hands down like 630. Nobody can debate that with me. Nobody can debate that with me because you have two of the top dudes in the game. In the game, going at it with one another, bro. And this shit about to be fireworks. Just like if we would have got Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao 2015 some shit. You understand what I'm saying? When we supposed to get it. You dig? Or let's just say 2013. 2012. You know, when they both was that guy, 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 guy. Floyd never stopped being that guy, 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 guy. But we know that Floyd started getting up there in age. You understand? And if they would have made this thing happen back then, you know, when Floyd say he offered, I mean, he sent Manny Pacquiao, where well, he's going to wire him um, $20 million and then give him another $20 million because it was going to be 40 but I think he was trying to give him $50 million. But just think about if they would have fought back then, bro. That shit would have been off the hook. Off the hook, fam. 
But now you got a whole new generation now. A whole new generation. And you got to respect the game, bro. We got to respect the game because a lot of people like to disrespect the game. Say this and say that. Listen, man, every generation is going to be his own. And Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford are the top shotters of this generation. Two of the top shotters of this generation. You feel me? And it's one that we all go enjoy. And we all feel to say, God damn, they put on the fight. That was an instant classic. And, and you know what's the, the best thing about it? Um, it's rumored that it's a rematch clause in the contract. It's rumored that it's a rematch clause in the contract. So either or, man, we, we might get this thing twice. If it's so nice, and there's nothing they can do about it. Nothing at all. You feel me? So at the end of the day, um, EJ, pay close attention to what's going on in the camp. Derrick James, pay close attention to what's going on in the camp. Now, like I said, they got a camp that's solid over there to where they got A-level fighters where Earl can spoil with. Ryan Garcia, right? Jamel Cholo, Frank Mart. And even big Anthony Joshua. I know he a heavyweight, big motherfucker. But even big Anthony Joshua, along, you know what I'm saying, with Adrian Teller and Burley Brooks and, and other sparring partners that they got. But you never know who will flip, dog. You never know. I know who who's solid, but I do know that it's easy to, to send a mole over, you know, acting like he just knew or some shit like that. And, you know, he over there. Taking notes. Sit back and take notes. T -t 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 take notes. You know what I'm saying? Taking notes of what my dude EJ doing. You feel me? And, um, you know, try to try to feed the information to the enemy. You know what I mean? Try to feed the information to the enemy and get whatever it is that they bargain for. You understand what I'm saying? Now, this going to be a hell of a fight, and I don't think nobody need to be trying to cheat. Nobody. Nobody don't need to be trying to cheat. Nobody either way. You understand? But like I say, I know how Floyd play. I've been watching Floyd Mayweather his entire career. You know what I mean? My GOAT. He's my GOAT. He's Money Brown GOAT. You know? So about Floyd being my GOAT, I know a whole lot of Floyd moves and, and a lot of things that Floyd do. You know? So you got to be careful and mindful of those things when you're going up against certain fighters and certain individuals that's connected to the other. Now, we know Earl and, and, and Floyd, they got a little relationship. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying they ain't got a relationship with one another, but it ain't the relationship, you know, where um, Earl gonna sit back and let Floyd try to control his career. And that's why Earl said the things that he said about Floyd Mayweather when Floyd was coming out trying to make it look like um, he making these fights happen, not Al Heyman and the other fighters, but he trying to take all the clout away and Earl put his ass in his place. And I don't think Floyd liked it that, you know? But when it come to Bud, you know, Bud just might hire Floyd as his promoter Depending on, you know, how good this fight go and how good is the information. I'm just going to stand on that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world. Right? Turns Bud Crawford, got third, beat Earl Spence, become the undisputed twice. Twice? In a four-belt era? Oh, Floyd Mayweather really going to be trying to sign that fool then. He really going to be trying to drop a bag and get him then. So, right now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this fight is taking place July 29th. Uh, Floyd Money Mayweather will find his way to be involved in this fight some way, somehow. Some way, somehow, he's going to end up on Turnsville Crawford's side because Earl Spencer already got his side. He got his fights and things of that nature. And, uh, you know, just be looking forward to him trying to steal some spotlight and uh, say, I told you so. You feel me? Just watch and see. Watch and see. I still love Floyd to death, still my GOAT. I just don't like some of the ways, you know, he, he, he got – and, you know, some of the ways he be moving, man. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's just fake to me. So we'll see him pop up on Turnsboy Crawford's side. Turnsboy Crawford, good luck. You're going to need it. And most definitely, shouts out to my dog, EJ. Let's get ready to go out there and make history, champ. Straight like that.